Hello and welcome gorgeous Pisces to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for you. I feel these three want to come out for you. So um, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate of course. You have clicked on this reading for a reason. There is a message in here for you. So let's take a look at your first card. Manifesting. Powerful and beautiful energy. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing or play music. So that is a very powerful way to manifest and to put something out into the universe to come true. Uh, music may also uh, feature in your life in a strong way this week. Um, maybe your profession or it could be a hobby. Might be something you're looking at getting into. Um, there's also a message here for someone about music um, giving a, mes a message to you. So listening to lyrics, um, you will take a message away from that. Uh, so that is yeah a message coming through for someone. Um, but generally speaking here, the manifestation manifestation energy is very strong this week for you, Pisces. So remember to um, be aware of where your thoughts are at because um, and where your emotions are at because that will be manifesting in your life over time. Um, the energy is very strong for it coming through. Maybe you're wanting to manifest healing for yourself or for a loved one perhaps. Um, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So you may in fact be um, a healer in your professional life um, or you know it might be that a friend or a family member is in need of emotional healing or support maybe physical or mental and you know you have this healing heart and there's this beautiful connection between you and this person and you have the ability to to really heal them um, whether you realize that or not you really have a, a powerful um, gift for them in this way Pay attention to the signs because Spirit's going to be giving you signs and guidance. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. So pay attention to things like lyrics and music uh, giving you a sign from heaven. Maybe a loved one from heaven is um, coming through in that way this week. Um but anything really that you come across in your day-to-day -day life that really draws your attention or you think that's strange, why did I witness that or why did I see that or that's unusual, there is, uh, it's a symbol, it's a symbol, it's an omen and so interpreting that symbol, that sign for a message for your situation um, and how you think it relates to your life is is really key this week. So you have a strong presence, Pisces of spirit um, being actively involved and, and weaving magic in your life through synchronicities, through signs, through omens. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Um, so this energy is really speaking of Understanding and knowing, having a real knowing that you are going to be provided for, that abundance is on the way for you and that you have abundance, you have beauty in your life as it, as it stands at the moment. There is a sense here of um, perhaps you, this could be a subconscious thing, but you may have a, a program in your subconscious running um, from fear or from lack. Um, thinking that you do not have a supply of abundance when in fact you do. So it's kind of opening up those energy pathways by recognizing that spirit is um, that spirit is supplying your needs and, and wanting to bring through more abundance for you. Exactly. Fertility. So this is about that abundance that I was feeling with this infinite supply, you know, um, very powerful it is the perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions and so there's a there's a newness there's a start there's a startup there's magic happening in this area of your life um, 
in the area of life that you feel that, you know, perhaps you're feeling a lack of energy or a lack of supply or a lack of abundance. Spirit saying, actually open up the mindset here, allow the energy to flow. Because in fact, spirit's wanting to bestow great blessings upon you and you will find that um, there will be a, an amazing miracle that happens in this area of your life. Um, I'm seeing tears of joy and bliss and happiness um, coming through. Beautiful. Creating a sacred space is encouraged this week or if you have a sacred space in your home your garden or your office you created like a little area that's just um uh, that's calm you know this is going to be extremely powerful for you to be in this space in the week ahead so perhaps create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine that also might um, be on your agenda or might resonate for you something to do this week Guidance for Pisces, please, Spirit. Worth waiting for. What are you waiting for? You're having to be patient. Your patience will be rewarded, though. So keep going with patience and understanding and compassion in your heart. Um, but it will be worth the wait. Place that energy where it fits for you, Pisces. Laughter is on the way. You need a good laugh. Things have been a bit serious lately. Um, so I do see a transition from tears of pain to tears of joy. A beautiful, basically, I'm seeing a miracle happening in this way. Mm, very powerful. Definitely yes. The answer to your question is a strong yes. So if you've been having a wondering, if you've been, um, a, you know, an answer to your prayer, if you have been um, wanting an answer, a yes, no answer, it's definitely a yes. It's a strong yes. Okay, so let's see what this deck reveals. You know, I'm also going to say that, um, yes, definitely you need laughter in your life at the moment, but also you may be questioning whether a particular person or situation is worth waiting for. Um, or you should move on. Um, but uh, yeah, the answer is definitely yes. Through a situation that may be difficult at the moment or you've been through recently, Pisces, um, I'm seeing that there's, um, from this experience, you're gaining wisdom and knowledge. And with that information, you'll in fact be able to help others or give back in some way today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve it is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return uh, reach out uh, and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that that someone really needs it today so you really are in need someone is in need of a helping hand someone is in need of your affection your love your compassion um you know and and by you reaching out and not going anywhere by you be you standing standing there with them and holding space um that's you giving back you know um and you'll know what that means for you the father's love so the contact with your father if your father is alive and living um might be coming into play this week um, but if your father is past or stepfather, grandfather energy um, is past, they are coming through very strongly. And in fact, because we have the pay attention for signs and omens and a message here during the week, I'd say it's, you know, it might be coming from this person here. Um, now, a father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. Yeah, but definitely there's a sense here of mm, someone in spirit coming through strongly, whether it a male energy anyway, you know, could be the father energy because it's the father card. But I'm going to say for some it's male energy. Okay, guidance for Pisces, please, spirit. Healer of 
thought. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. Okay, so that can be a hard one. But I sense that you know who this person is already. Who is taking your energy, taking your resources, taking your calm, uh, calmness, your serenity. Who is doing that? Uh, they need to be released or an energy needs to be released. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful and caring. This is your energy because that ties into the energy here of giving back. Like I was saying, uh, wise, insightful, caring, has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience or you are gaining life experience through your situation at the moment. You're moving toward a good future or a good outcome something that you've been worried about or something you've been putting a lot of thought into life is wonderful your hard work and dedication and remember it's worth the wait your hard work your dedication to your dreams to your goal to an outcome uh, will provide you with great peace and contentment take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So we have security financially. Something being, is being shored up at the moment. Something is, a foundation is being laid for the future financially, materially. A new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans though so be aware of this you know maybe uh, you know you're going to receive some information some news and then a change will take place um, review all documents carefully you know will meet or ask someone who loves to learn and share knowledge that's your energy and uh, you're brilliant and truthful okay energies um, truthfulness honesty but also blunt and not very diplomatic. Okay, so just be aware that you may come across, just be aware of your communication this week. And this is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to if your heart is open. So that, that's a reminder to someone to keep your heart open. Um, not, not cut that off, not um, block out your feelings. You're being asked to do many things at once. You won't mind as long as you know you're making a difference. And this card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, passionate and fun. Which could definitely describe you or you're getting those energies back. Passionate, fun in a relationship. I'm seeing that for someone. Um, and this person can handle difficult situations with grace. You can handle the difficulties, the challenges that are around you at the moment with grace if you choose. Your life is about to start moving very fast, though. So this is a bit of a warning or a caution or a heads up. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention or something that has been not out in the open or not noticed has come to your attention or has come to um, the attention of to to the attention of others and. Um, and because of, uh, you know, it was kind of hidden, uh, something was hidden or something wasn't out in the light. Uh, now it is um, or it will be soon and uh, things will start to move quickly. And there's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best you can. And you are someone with a quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. And this person is confident and courageous. So you do have confidence, courageous. You've got that strength of the lion here coming through but also balanced with um, a balanced mindset. So we have an ace. It's a new beginning. A new beginning is coming through here very strongly with this read. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to creativity, career, or pursuing your dreams in a matter. So that may be emotionally speaking, perhaps. And this is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. 
Beautiful. Okay, lots of energies, powerful energies coming through for the week ahead. I hope Spirit has come through with the messages that are important to you at this time. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.